Swinburne University of Technology. In this video, we're going to look at how to do t tests in R. So, all of our t tests get done using the function t.test. Uh, we'll have a look at the one sample and the two sampler independent samples and the paired samples t test. So, we're going to start with the one sample. We're going to use our cars data. So, remember that has some speeds and distances. And the test that I'm going to do is going to be using this speed variable and one sample t-test I'm going to set my null hypothesis the mean equals 15 alternative mean is not equal to 15 so all I need to do is give my function the numeric variable and whatever my hypothesized value is which in this case is 15 and I get all my output so I've got my t-value got my degrees of freedom got my p-value so it's not significant uh, and I also get the confidence interval for the mean and sample mean, so 15.4 and confidence interval around that, 13.9, 16.9. So not surprising that it is not significant. If we want to do a independent or two sample t-test, uh, then we'll still be using t.test. Uh, I'm going to set up some data. Uh, so I am going use the rnorm function to get some random normal data uh, which is maybe cheating a little bit because I'm going to know that my underlying distribution is normal because I've just drawn them from normal distribution with mean of 20 standard deviation of 5 and I'm going to set up a categorical variable uh, which is going to have gender And so if we have a look at our data, uh, so we've just grabbed first 25, second 25 of a random. See there's a bit of difference going on here in the medians. The um, spreads maybe not quite the same, but remember we can uh, use the Welch test, which is the unequal variances assumption. Uh, so let's have a go of our test. So t.test uh, and we can do it two different ways. If our data is set up like this, uh, which it probably most likely will be out of a data frame, then we just have whatever our measure is, uh, so our numeric variable in this case scores, and the tilde so as a function of sex, which is our category, so it'll do score split by sex just like what we did in the box plot. Uh, if we had two separate vectors with the male scores and the female scores, then we can just enter that. So we do t.test male scores, comma, female scores. And the function will know that if you've given it um, a numeric variable and a comma, then another numeric variable, then what you're trying to do is the, um, the same as what we're doing here. So run my test, uh, we can see this on the Welch test, which, the, which is the unequal variances assumption, got a t-value, degrees of freedom, p-value, we can see that it's uh, again not significant, uh, this time the confidence interval is for the difference rather than the sample mean, but it also gives the sample means of the two groups as well. Okay, finally we'll have a look at the paired t-test. So for our paired t-test, uh, I'm going to set up uh, another random variable. So we're going to have some before and after. So remember the paired, if we've got paired data. Uh, so my before score is normal distribution, mean of 15, standard deviation of 10. And my after scores are going to be random normal. Uh, and they're going to have a mean of 25, also standard deviation of 10. So again, I'm taking these random numbers um, from a particular distribution so I know my assumption is covered uh, and so this time t.test and before.scores after.scores doesn't matter what order I put them in uh, this is how we this second way that we could have done our independent samples that I was mentioning before uh, what's different here is in order to get a paired t-test uh, we just say paired equals true and we run that and for this one uh, you can see same style of output it tells us so paired t-test uh, we can see it's significant definitely not surprising because when I set up my two sets of random uh, random numbers I had quite 
distinct means and kind of gap in the means that was bigger than what the standard error will be. Again, we get the confidence interval of the difference and we get the mean of the difference as well. So that covers our three different kinds of t-tests that we would do in R. This has been a Swinburne production. 